My name is Deb Nardone. I work for the Sierra Club as campaign director for the Beyond Natural Gas campaign, and I oversee an initiative called Keeping Dirty Fuels in the Ground. In Pennsylvania, there's a number of areas that are being directly impacted from oil and gas drilling. And so on September 12th, we flew over the Tyadotten, Sproul, and Loyal Sauk State Forests. In Pennsylvania, we've got about 1.5 million acres that is underlain by shale. Of that, about 700,000 acres has already been leased by our state. We're at about a 20% build out so far. So about 20% of that 700,000 acres has been leased. And it's coming at a cost of forest fragmentation, tons of industrial infrastructure and, and pipelines that are now fragmenting the forests. It's coming at a cost to our water quality and air quality. Again, we, you know, the state has even acknowledged that that industrial development in our parks and forests was not benign. So at the same time, while we've got that 700,000 acres leased, the governor lifted a moratorium and is now looking at leasing and a whole lot of additional acreage to what's called non-surface disturbance leasing, meaning that they'll lease properties adjacent to our state parks and forests but allow the industry to have access below those states' parks and forests. So while there might not be service disturbance, they're still at risk. The flight was very helpful for us to actually see how much development is actually happening on top of the mountains. We flew over swaths of forests that have not been leased and that are protected to see what the Pennsylvania forest used to look like, you know, large swaths of continuous forest land. So we got to see both the before and the after, what it looked like before drilling and then what it looks like now.